Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're in my laboratory and uh, I'm going to take a look at and we're going to build a cyber deck using the CrowVision touchscreen I have here. Uh, yeah, these cost only $99 and uh, it's quite an interesting device. So let me show you what we get here. Of course it comes with a power supply and some cables. But I'm going to show you what's on the back of this guy to start with. And uh, there's actually not a whole lot. There's the main circuit board. There is the buttons for up and down, for enter, for menu, and for power. This is the power jack on the side. We have on the top, there is a mini, or actually that's a micro USB to the right. It's got an HDMI. And that's a USB-A, the big connector. Uh, those are for, of course, putting the video signal in and for the control, the touchscreen control coming out. On this side, we have an expansion connector to the right for the external. Uh, ex it, basically, it's an extension of the five buttons. That could be like a front panel. And uh, there is an amplified audio output in the middle there for your own speakers. And then there is an unamplified output for running it to your own amplified speaker like one of these. And that's actually what I am going to use. So the first uh, experiment we're going to do is we're just going to use it as a video monitor. Uh, it's going to be quite... Uh, quite interesting to see how it performs. And I'm going to use it with that satellite receiver which is actually wired out to my big dish. This is my laboratory, so I do have from Patch Bay all of these connections available for various different things. And there is even uninterruptible power from a generator. Okay, stand by guys. Okay, so I got the video hooked up right there, the HDMI, and that runs out like that. Just a splice connector. Extending it over to the satellite receiver, and uh, that's the power, and that's the audio running over to the speaker. And as you can see, we have a red light and a blue light, blue light indicating it's receiving uh, HDMI. So I'm going to flip it over, and let's see what we got. Oh, it says no signal. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. Let's go over to the, the receiver. Bring this down a little bit. Um, we're just on a, a channel that's no longer on the satellite. Let's see, what would be a good channel? Let's try ESPN. ESPN Peru. Okay, that sounds good. Let's go there, Let's see what happens. Well, yeah. There we go. Wow, it's pretty good. I like that. She's getting a little bit of glare on there. I'll turn it more like this. Let's see it with the light on the ceiling. But, uh, wow, it looks pretty good. Excellent. Wow, that's like an iPad. Cool. Okay. Let's try some other channels. Uh, let's try. What can we try here? It's another good channel. Let's try AMC. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Some kind of movie on. Oh, it looks very scary. Maybe too scary for the kids. So I better change the channel. Let's try. Okay, we better change. <laughs> oh boy. She's screaming. Better change it. There we go. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, looks good. Okay, uh. Let's change the channel again. So that's pro probably copyrighted, so they are not do too much of that one. Yeah, it looks great. 
I'm happy with this. Vamos a guiarte para que no sientes del presente. Concéntrate. Déjate llevar por lo que ves y lo que escuchas. Looks good. Looks good to me, guys. Okay, let's move on to the next experiment. Okay, so I just turned the lights off so you get a better uh, better idea of the resolution on this uh, screen without the lights on and all the glare. Let's try the other channel here. Televid, whatever that is. Let's go to this other ESPN. Oh, can't show that, unfortunately. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. Oh, hold on a second. Playboy. Oh, let's try that. Let's see what, what we get. Uh-oh. Should I push the button? Oh. Okay, guys, so now we're going to continue on. And I want to point out on the back... There are these screws that move up and down, and the idea here is uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi, you could mount one of these right on the back like this. If you wanted to build this uh, as a cyber deck with a Raspberry Pi inside, which I actually am going to do, you can actually do that. Uh, for this experimentation, we're going to use this Raspberry Pi that uh, has its own little case. It actually could be mounted in here too. This is actually a Raspberry Pi 3. This one's ready to go. Okay, guys, in this latest setup here, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi 3, and we're going to basically try to use it uh, to surf the internet. Uh, you could use it for whatever you want, whatever a Pi can do, you can use the screen with it. But for this demonstration, we're actually going to look at some YouTube. Why not? So one additional thing you're going to notice here is the uh, this cable here, and this is the touchpad, uh, or the touch screen, I should say. And that is the feedback going back to the Raspberry Pi computer. The other connection is the, um, the HDMI. So we're going to flip this over now. And there you go. We have, we have a Raspberry Pi screen. And uh, let's go to the touch screen here and select the browser. Let's see if that will load. Web browser. Is that loading or should I press it again? There we go. I didn't have to press it twice. That was a problem. And there we go. We got a web browser. And uh, let's see, what can we get? What can we do with it? Uh, okay, let's restore. I'll go back and restore what I had before. And it should go to YouTube. There we go. And I do have it connected to the internet. The Raspberry Pi 3s are not the fastest, but they do the job. Yeah, we got, got sound. <clears throat> Can't play that music, unfortunately, because it's copyrighted. But, uh, yeah, so the audio is just, it's coming through the HDMI. It's embedded in HDMI, and it's being extracted by the circuit board on the back. And uh, just going out to my own speakers here. That's such a good song. Alan Walker. Yeah. So, anyways, so there you go, guys. Uh, that shows it works with a Raspberry Pi 3 at least. Uh, it probably can work with a 4 with a little bit of uh, work. Probably have to do some settings on it. This is a brand brand spanking new one. I just got it out of the box. So it's, it's going to need some uh, updating probably too. But uh, it should work. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, look at that. Oh, the touch screen. Yeah, I want to show you the touch screen part of it. Look at that. Works just like an iPad. Yeah, let's go... Phil Collins. Yeah, let's get some Phil Collins going on here. He was always good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Of course, we can't play it because it's copyrighted. But I just want to show you how it works pretty good, you know. Uh, the slowness is probably uh, to do with the Raspberry Pi, of course. 
but still it's not too bad for what it what it is love songs <laughs> okay okay who's that Lionel Richie or somebody anyways okay we're gonna move on to the next uh, the next demo here and we're gonna use it as a computer mirror um you'll see hold on guys stand by okay guys i now have the touch screen connected to my computer and i'm doing that on the side here i have a display port out to an hdmi converter and then the other one is the usb for the touch screen feedback and as you can see i am controlling both computers so having this mirrored screen, portable screen, uh, could be good for like doing lessons, teaching somebody uh, where they're both you and that person are you sharing the screen. So uh, yeah, I wanna actually show you what I'm actually looking at here is the website from CrowVision. Uh, there it is there, it's $99 as it shows right there. Um, it is a crowd funded or sourced uh, project and they've raised, look at that, over $10,000. So there's quite a lot of interest in this uh, in this device. I wonder why, it's actually quite a versatile device and I'm actually really liking it. I think it's a pretty nifty thing to have. Look at that, it shows right there, it's 11.6 inch screen and uh, the resolution, look at that, interesting, and in video, so. Uh, Let's go down and look at some of the other specs here. Oh, that shows you can put all the different kinds of Raspberry Pi and yeah, Beagle Bone, all the different uh, orange pies. So there you go, guys. I'll link this website if you're interested in getting one too. And uh, see, that is something I would probably use this for, just build it right in the wall. One thing I wanted to point out is on the back, around the edges, there is 3M uh, double-sided tape. So if you want to build it into something, yeah, that's a possibility right there for home automation using a Raspberry Pi. Very uh, good possibility. I might do something like that with it. I just actually like the video monitor. That's going to be helpful down in my patch bay when I'm testing things out. Um, there's all the different accessories. There were some other cables with it. I've kind of misplaced. I actually probably use them for something else. But, and there's the team behind uh, the project here. So there you go, guys, as cool as that is. Isn't that great? Um, let me just do a quick demonstration here of very, very nice uh, sensitive, just like an iPad. Great, great, the human interface is, uh, is great. No problem at all detecting, doing exactly what I want to do. And of course, I can do that with my screen over here when they both go together. So there you go. And I can also do that with, with my mouse if it's in the right place there. <laughs> and I want to point out there is this that came with it. It is uh, an extension of all the buttons. And like there is the power button to turn it off and on. We'll bring it back on. There we go. And it's basically got the up and down. Okay, so menu. If I go over here, there's the menu. Oh, I see. Yeah, brightness. <clears throat> so what happens there? Oh, sharpness. Okay. So... Let me see, how do we go back? Just trying to get to the other, <clears throat> the other options. Um, okay, enter. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you got horizontal. Yeah, you can just about do everything. Phase, aspect. You can adjust the colors, the language, of course. Yeah, on-screen position, transparency. Wow, it's got just about everything you can think of. And then there's a reset to go back to factory. 
and uh, yeah, signal source, um, HDMI. Okay, so that's interesting. Very good, very good, very nice product. Uh, well worth, I, I, in my opinion, it's well worth the $99. Uh, all the different things you can actually do with this. Yeah, so for your next project, you need a video screen that's quite large. I mean, uh, for the money, for $99, to get a screen that's almost 12 inches is, is pretty pretty darn good. I mean, it has got some nice resolution on it, too. I mean, it's as nice as this laptop computer. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed that, guys. And uh, I'll have a link in the description if you're uh, looking to, to get one of these. There it is there. It's actually Crowd Supply, even though they call it Crowvision, crowdsupply.com. Okay, have yourself a good one, guys. Thanks.